Hi, Teddy. It's nice to see you again. Hi, Sheila. It's nice to see you too. Have you been to any interesting places lately? Oh, I've been to lots of places. France, England, Italy, to name a few. I know you love travelling, Teddy, but it can't always be perfect. There must be some negative aspects. Can you tell me about some of these? Well, of course, things don't always go smoothly. One of the things that I find annoying at airports is having to wait for ages in long queues when checking in or waiting for my luggage to arrive. Yes, I don't like queuing either. What else do you dislike? One thing that is very frustrating about travelling abroad is not being able to understand what people are saying. Although I speak several languages, I sometimes travel to a country whose language I don't speak. Mm, that must be very difficult. Yes. For that reason, I would advise doing a short course at a good language school before going abroad. Not only does it make life easier, but the natives of the country you are visiting will be pleased that you're trying to use their language. Is there anything else? One thing that is very annoying is not being able to take liquids into the departure lounge at airports. It is very expensive to buy drinks inside, and in the summer it is important to drink a lot. I think all airports should have drinking fountains in all areas. Yes, I agree with that. Have you ever had a really bad experience while travelling? Not really bad, but I've had a few unpleasant experiences, such as when my case didn't arrive until the next day, or when my plane was diverted to Faro because it could not land at Lisbon. It is also annoying when there are strikes and your plans have to be changed at the last minute. Would bad experiences put you off travelling? No, not at all. I'm never happier than when I'm on a plane heading for a new destination. It's what makes life exciting. Well, thank you for this interview and happy travelling. Thank you, Sheila. Sorry, I have to go. I need to pack my suitcase.